Good morning. Oh my <laughs> Kathleen is going to be eight. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was editing this video right now and I realized that I never actually spoke in any of the videos on that day. They're just videos of Amara. So I decided to put my contacts in, that's why my face is all red. And tell you guys the story of Amara uh, and her adoption story. And then you can just, can just watch the rest of the video and see cute puppy videos. Cause I'm trying to, uh, I honestly, I'm really terrible. I haven't edited videos, been editing videos like I should. And I am behind, so you guys are seeing this video roughly two months after I adopted Amara. So anyway, let's get started. So she's definitely grown since uh, these videos <laughs> in these three months. Hi, Gavers. Anyway, so. The day I got Amara. So, my husband, uh, the day before my husband sent, go, go, go play. My husband sent me pictures, or a, he tagged me in a post on Facebook about a Belgian Malinois puppy uh, who was at the Dallas, Texas animal shelter. And I was like, oh, it was later in the day by the time I saw the bit it, and I was like, well, dang, I would love to see meet her and have her. So the next day, um, I checked on the website to make sure the dog was still available. And as of that moment, it still was. So I called, and I was like, hey, I would really like to come up and see this Malinois puppy. I can be up there Saturday, but, uh, cause that's when my husband was off work. But they said they wouldn't hold, couldn't hold any dogs. So I was like, well, damn. So I talked to my husband and he's like, go get her. It was a three hour drive. So I called them up because they had already said that they had a bunch of interest in her, including some rescues. I called him up and said, hey, I am coming right now to pick her up. I will be there in three hours. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I get in the car, grab um, nothing but my wallet, my phone, and I get in the car and I go. So I get really close, I'm constantly checking the website to make sure she's still on there because they said they don't hold dogs. I'm like, okay, check, check, check. So far, she's still there, she's still there. Five minutes before I got there, I checked one last time. She wasn't on the website. So I was like, oh, please be there. So I showed up and it was at the PetSmart Everyday Adoption Center in Dallas, which is where she was being kept um, at the last time I called and checked. Uh, they were, ugh, dogs, out, no, no, no. So I got there, I got in, I went straight back to the Everyday Adoption and she had been adopted five minutes prior to me getting there. And I was like, well, I just came three hours for her. So I was upset and I was not happy with them. They knew I was coming, but I called my husband, told him what happened. He was like, he was also upset, but we both said I should just go look and see what at the dogs they had there at that moment. So I went back there and I went up and down the aisle and there were so many cute dogs there, um, including a really cute German Shepherd who, I don't know how long she was there. She was a six year old though. And I, unfortunately, Caffrey is already eight. Well, he was close to being eight at the time. Um, and I was looking for a dog with more energy to give him energy because he gets his energy from other dogs. 
If there are other dogs being energetic, he's energetic. And they had also had this really cute Rottweiler who I think was a year old. And, but where we're living now in military housing, Rottweilers are not allowed. I know, stupid. A lot of dogs are, like, there shouldn't be these breed specific. Um, that's another tangent we'll go on to some other time. So I keep walking up and down. I'm not seeing anything else. And then in one of the kennels closest to the door that I came in, and I finally noticed her, there was a big dog. And then there was this little like four month old puppy that was just like, every time I came up to the gate, the bigger dog would just push on her and she could, you could barely see her. So finally I was like, I want to see her. So I had them bring her out and um, into the little room and she was so sweet <laughs> and energetic and I, I don't know something just clicked so I called my husband I was like hey I FaceTimed him like I like this dog what do you think and we went on a little bit and then we we're like we're gonna get her so I was like I want her so I filled out all the adoption paper and work gave them my $45 then I went out and bought a collar and a leash and I adopted her. And at the PetSmart Adoption Center, Everyday Adoptions, they give you a small bag of food. Uh, so they gave me a small bag of authority dog food, puppy food for her. So we, we use that to switch her over to what she's on now. Um, but she was so terrified whenever we were leaving the shelter, like, as soon as we got out of the kennels, she was like scared. There were so many new sounds and smells. So I carried her out of the shelter one second. So she is much bigger now than when she was. I'm gonna show you how I had to carry her out of the shelter. Come here. Come on. Come on. Ugh. I had to carry her out of the shelter like this. <laughs> and she was much smaller at the time. God, she'd grown so much in two months. Oh God, oh God. So, that's so how I carried her out. And I, and uh, they get, they have this little like nylon leash around her to lead her to me. Whew. So I went through all that, got her in, guy walked me out, he gave me all my stuff in. Since I was carrying her, I couldn't carry it. So, put her in the back of my car, and I didn't have any like blankets or anything to put down in the back seat of the car because I rushed out of the house to go get this Malinois. Well, Amara is a Dutch Shepherd mixed with Malinois, supposedly, or she's a Dutch she she's Dutch Shepherd mixed with Malinois, and we think German Shepherd. Actually, I'm going to have her DNA tested. I'm going to have both the dogs DNA tested. I think it'd be really cool. So, we started a three-hour drive with a four-month-old puppy with no protection on my car seats back home to where we live now. And I will um, maybe include some pictures over here of her in the car if I can over here or after this video. Um, so we started the drive home, it was a three hour drive and it was already like 7 p.m. after 7 p.m. when I left uh, the shelter. So by the time I got home, it was almost midnight. So we quickly met the, had the dogs meet outside. You should always meet on neutral ground. Caffrey never goes out into the front, port, front yard unless we're going uh, for a walk. So we brought them out on leashes into the front yard to meet. And just like with uh, me and her, something clicked. They get along perfectly. Um, same with my husband. He loves her to death. Like, he really loves this dog. So, um, yeah. And so about Amara. Amara, when I got her, she was four months old. She had been in the shelter pretty much her whole life. She's getting into something right now. Um, so we were her first home. Um, so 
so and also i want to put it out there i am not against reputable breeders i am against backyard breeders uh we were really looking for a belgian malinois at the time we just happened to see a belgian malinois had been returned to the shelter and unfortunately when i got there the shelter had adopted her out so we ended up about a ended up adopting Amara. At the time, Amara's name was Star. So, obviously we changed that. But she has been the best new addition to our family. She fits perfectly. Couldn't ask for anything more. Um, Caffrey has been like a little puppy again. And they both like, they'll play really like energetically all the time and go outside and rough house. But bedtime they go to bed they cool they're chill um in fact Amara, the first night here i cannot train all my dogs everyone should just in case that's spend any time at a um vet clinic that way they aren't um stressed out even more so Amara's first night was in a kennel of course so we put her in the kennel she whined for maybe five minutes and that was that. She's been kennel trained. She does sometimes not when I go in, but for the most part, she goes right in. She even goes in whenever it's just open. She goes in and sleeps in there on her own. So, once I just have to take her to the vet soon because she, I think she has a urinary tract infection because she pees in her sleep. Um, so, once we get that taken care of and once she's not peeing in her sleep and stuff anymore and not tearing up the house then she will be able to sleep with us like Caffrey does. So yeah, that is Amara's story. It's not a very interesting one because we don't know mo much about her past, other than in fact she spent pretty much her whole life in the shelter from the time she was about four weeks old. And she is spit. So she's got a little green tattoo on her belly from being spayed. But yeah. That's her story. So we'll get on with the cute dog videos. What do you think of the neighbor dogs? They're loud, aren't they? It's chilly out here. <laughs> Caffrey, if you lay down, you're fair game. <laughs> She don't know what to think about the neighbor dogs. She is only four months old. Caffrey is eight, almost eight years old. At home? Disgusting. Poor baby. She was a dirty puppy. But now you're a clean puppy. Now we just gotta dry you off. Come on. You did not like that, like, at all. Here, you get a treat because you were so good. She got a bath, so now she's pouting.
Amor Amara Amara Are you pouting? Mara What's wrong? Are you mad at me? Oof. Easy, Caffrey. Uh -uh. <laughs> Easy, Caffrey. You're bigger than her. Ever do this in ages. <laughs> 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 